even today's conference. We are grateful to you that you came here to travel from different parts of the Europe and from the different countries to take part in the UN Human Rights Council session and the other events we are organizing parallel to the United Nations Human Rights Council 49th session. As we see that uh, the topic today, the 16th March, on 16th March 1846, State of Jammu and Kashmir was founded by Maharaja Gulab Singh. And since 1846 till 1947, almost 100 years our state was very much intact. And if we compare our state of German Kashmir in that era with other neighboring states, that state was much better than the other states. We have right a board. Our ruler gave us the state subject role and the average citizen as the first class citizen of the state of without any discrimination. The lower state is multi-cultural, multi-religious, and multi-lingual state. And yet, if you see that uh, in that era, many states had no right of vote. There were no power in judiciary in some states, but we had power, we had the judiciary, the Get made legislation that uh, minor girls' marriage was prohibited in our state in that era. And uh, many people, they compare that state with today's, for example, Europe, that is not the right thing. But at that time, our ruler was more vigilant, he gave more right to our people. And uh, some occupiers, they don't want to give credit to our ruler because he was a Hindu by religion and Pakistan says that uh, he sold Kashmiris. Although Kashmiris were the, under the occupation of Ranjit Singh and he signed a treaty with Great Britain through a treaty of state was founded in 18, uh, 16 March uh, 1846. Today we have very learned panel. They will shed light on the topics, on the, especially on foundation day, and then we will talk about human rights and freedom of expression, opinion, and association in Azad Kashmir, Middle Pakistan, and other part of Pakistan. Then we discuss true agreement on Kashmir, the responsibilities of the respective homes. It was the true agreement when Pakistan invaded the state of Jammu and Kashmir. She was in denial mode that our troops didn't enter in Kashmir. These are the tribal men, and we have nothing to do with uh, this invasion. Then, when uh, UN Commission people arrived in Karachi. At that time, Pakistan said, yes, our regular troops are fighting in Kashmir along with tribal men. These tribal were arranged by Pakistani military and intelligence agencies and made several uh, journals and retired military officers. They wrote books and admitted that these heinous crimes were done by on their wish and will. Their wish was to capture the entire state of Jammu and Kashmir but at that time, our ruler and especially our progressive people, they stood against these invaders and they fought and they sacrificed their lives. And when Maharaja was compelled to seek military assistance from Great Britain, he first asked Great Britain for military help. Great Britain denied. They said that we don't have any treaty with you, we will not help you. Then he asked India, and India asked for the same thing that we don't have any treaty, you have to sign a treaty. Then he signed a treaty. Through a treaty, Indian forces entered in the Kashmir. 
according to Bruce agreement, it was the prime responsibility of the Pakistan to withdraw its troops from the state of Jammu and Kashmir, which were illegally occupied by Pakistan. But she never com complied with these resolutions. And since 1947 till now we are divided. And she is propagating that she is the right to serve the champion of the right to serve the nation of Kashmiri people. But she is not ready to listen to the voices of Kashmir, those, those who are living under its administration. First, I introduce my panelists. Then I will give floor one by one to our distinguished panelists. We have in our panel Sardar Shokat Ali Kashmiri, exiled chairman of the United Kashmir People's National Party, Secretary General of Jammu and Kashmir International People's Alliance. We have Ms. Una Mekar, she is the barrister and she is the activist from the island. We are honored to have you here, Madam. Welcome. <coughs> we have Dr. Nasir Dashti. He is the executive president of the World Human Rights Council. He is a historian. He is the author of several books. And uh, he has a very deep study on languages and the history and culture of Sin, Pakistan, and other nations who are under Pakistani occupation. <coughs> we have Madame Mashalim Yoma. She is the president of Boca Bros International NGO with special ecosoc status with the United Nations. She is also very sympathetic to people of Kashmir. She always organized forum on human rights when during the human rights session and she bring deprived women across the globe. And she is very much active and sympathetic to people of Kashmir, Madam. We are grateful and we warmly welcome you here. We have Mr. Junaid Kireshi from Srinagar, he based in Netherlands, executive director of the European Foundation for South Asian Studies. We have Dr. Hedai Bhattasai, member of the Chief Committee of the Sindhi Congress. Welcome, sir. We are grateful to you for your presence. We have Mr. Munir Mehmet, President of the Voice Association. Thank you, sir, for your presence here in this event. Now I would like to give floor to Sardar Shokat Ali Kashmiri Sahib to 